Oaks Community TV presents Hockey Talk with the Old Grizzlies. Hosted by Hugh Bodmer. Hockey Talk with the Old Grizzlies is sponsored by Hugh Bodmer, CIR Realty and Olds. Guesting us with is, is a uh, the Western Scout for York University. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Nice to Tell us a little bit about your uh, the university. Uh, we're the third largest school in Canada, about 60,000 full-time and part-time students. We're located in a suburb of Toronto, in the northern part of Toronto. Uh, but a subway uh, system runs right to campus, so we can be downtown in 25 minutes, go and see the Leafs or the Blue Jays. Uh, it's a good-sized campus with a full tennis center. We've played the Rogers Cup there several times in the Pro Tennis Tour. We have six ice rinks on campus. Um, we have Osgood Hall Law School, uh, the Schulich Business School, which is world-renowned. Um, so all in all, uh, pretty, uh, pretty great programs available. Uh, so a graduate, say, from Junior A Hockey in Alberta, the Grizzlies, wherever, what would they expect? Um, they could expect uh, the opportunity to have a wide variety of courses. A lot of, the, a lot of the guys are not sure exactly what they want when they, when they first get to school. So they can expect to have uh, the opportunity to sort of get a year under their belt and decide what their major is going to be. Because we're such a large school, we have a great selection of courses. From a hockey perspective, um, we have nine players right now on our starting roster from who have played in Western Canada Junior A, Tier 2. Um, we've historically, for the last eight or ten years, been very active out here. Uh, the style of play in the Western Leagues fits university very well. It's a more physical game than is played in Ontario Junior A. Uh, so it's worked out well. We've had some wonderful players from here and all graduated. So they're typically it would be a 20 year old uh, looking to take on a university career. Is that uh, would be the kind of prime candidate? Exactly, yeah. 99% of the time we're only looking at 20 year olds. Very occasionally a 19 year old may decide not to do his 20 year old junior year. and if we felt he was ready from a maturity level uh, and a hockey level, we would entertain that, but it's, it's unusual. So the 20 year olds come in. So what are the entrance requirements? Um, it varies from year to year and from program to program. Obviously some of the sciences are a little bit tougher to get into. Um, into law school, obviously, you know, you're, it's, it's a pretty serious uh, requirement. Uh, but generally, if they can come out with a, between a 73 and a 75 average out of high school, that should get them into a general program. So in terms of the ed combining education with the, the hockey career, so to speak, how has the timetable worked? Uh, we practice every day um, from, I think it's 4.15 till 5.30. Um, at CIS Hockey, uh, University Hockey, they only play twice a week. So there's lots of time for studying. Um, we, we have students, uh, at York we have a tutor that's three tutors actually that are dedicated to our hockey team so and they have a, a variety of backgrounds educational backgrounds the tutors some are specializing in sciences some in the arts some in perhaps kinesiology so our players can get individual attention should they should they wish it is there uh, scholarship support there is scholarship but it's called uh, academic financial awards and any player who, who comes out uh, of high school with an 80 average uh, can receive up to $5,500 a year and I believe virtually all our players from Western Canada are on a scholarship. Uh, we also have some bursary money that's available and that's at the discretion of the coaching staff. Um, there's also uh, some part-time work opportunities uh, both with the team and either in the arena or in the sports programs itself. So uh, there's, a, there's a fair amount of assistance available. Typically, would a first-year player, say, uh, from Alberta, live in residence? Um, typically not on the hockey team, no. Um, we have a program set up where we there are three or four townhouses that are right on the edge of campus, a 10-minute walk to everything, and usually they share that. The second-year players would then oftentimes look for their own. But the first, we do have three townhouses, and usually we have three or four guys in each townhouse. So as uh, you're out here... I I understand you're stationed in Western Canada. You're here to uh, you follow the Junior A leagues. Is there any um, players uh, in tonight's game that are caught your eye? 
Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, I think uh, Moore for Olds is a good solid player. Um, I think Roberts for Brooks, good size on him. Uh, Austin Kernahan, uh, you know, a really big guy. A lot of university programs I think will be interested in Austin for his size and he moves the puck pretty well. Skates reasonably well for a big man. Um, so there's, yeah, virtually every game I go to there's one or two that could crack the lineup I think. Do you, um, do you talk to the players at all, say after a game, to, to keep in touch with them or? Yes, um, usually I'd, I'd meet with them, usually give them some, some information on the school, uh, give them a little bit of background on what we can do from the, um, the financial assistance area, uh, what they can expect coming into the school. Um, at our school, we don't bring players from Western Canada to sit in the stands, they play. All our nine Western guys are starting every game. If they're injured, that's the only exception. So for next year, how many holes you got to fill? Uh, my head coach tells me we have three right now, but things often do change, as, as you know in this game. Uh, sometimes we do lose a player to marks. Sometimes we lose a player to injury. Sometimes we lose a player who just wants to get into the workforce right away. Um, but I expect we'll have three. We need, a, we need two wingers and a left defenseman right now. So well, the, we're looking at the two fellas you... Um, you uh, mentioned from the Grizzlies just fit the bill there. They may, they may. I, I think I may have a little competition though. One thing, you know, there's uh, a lot of a lot of the players look at the NCAA, double NCAA programs, and um, I think they should take a harder look at Canadian universities. Um, although we may not offer the the total dollar package, let's remember the exchange rates, and let's also remember that a lot of the schools in Canada. The degree may mean a little bit more than a tier, than a you know a, a school from the NCAA. Well spoken. Thanks very much for guesting with us, and hope to see you in the arena down the road. We undoubtedly will. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Watch Olds Community TV on Channel 148 on the ONET IPTV network, or catch us on the web at www.octv.ca.